What's up, baby? We're back again, back again. You know who it is, Big Hand on Hand on Plug. And I got a special guest back in the building who everybody been asking for. Hey, hey, let's go. Who's that? Come on, baby. Everybody been asking for him. Ryan Anthony in the building. Do I put the Y straight to G up? It don't even matter because it's all the same people. Let's go. Fuck a spelling because it's the same fucking shit, bro. Same blood, same essays and crimps, bro. That's enough. That's enough. Same back page hoes trying to flip, nigga. Hey, man. Like I say, everybody been asking for this interview. You know what I'm saying? I got my guy Ryan Anthony in the building. You know what I mean? How you it's feeling, it's baby? It's about time I've been up here, man. Hey, you know, so funny, man. Everybody been asking for this this interview. Like, I had a lot of different artists and, uh, you know, people in the, in the comments. Just like, man, when you get Ryan Anthony in here, bro, he's coming. Yeah, come he on. He coming. Come on. I know. I, I'm saying I'm not a, I'm not going to press nobody. You know what I'm saying? I know you, I know you working. Bro. I'm working. I've been seeing you doing your thing, even though we ain't even really, this is our first time meeting. First time meeting, man. But, but God. I, I, I've been seeing you do your thing. I respect it. I'm tapped in. I watch every interview, um, even the podcast. Like I was saying, I, yeah. I, I tap in to all of it. Man, I appreciate you for the yeah. support, man. Nah, yeah, for sure. You one of them artists too that's really uh, Dago centered. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you, you always support everybody from yeah. San Diego, and all your music is about San Diego, pushing the culture forward. So it's a pleasure, it's an honor to have you on, man. Because you know what I'm saying that's my whole mission statement of this. You know, this platform to push us forward, to elevate us. You know, and, and uh, you know, put us on the on the uh, on the forefront. You nah, know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. It's, it's about time, man. I always said the only thing that Dago was missing was the platforms. Yeah, yeah. So now we starting to get them platforms of you know, having uh, interviews and you know having hubs of multimedia spaces to where you could click on them pages and you could just run through a whole bunch of different Dago artists. That's what we need, bro. You know what I mean, so. Salute! Hell yeah, man! It's about time, man! Um, and it's the, the spot is so you like it, bro? Professional, my guy. Hey, man! Shout out to my girl Christina, gracious. man. Yeah, man. She she came it's and crazy. blessed it, everything. People like the little set, man. I appreciate you for the nah, support. Yeah, this is this is insane. Hell yeah, this bro! Um, so I got a question for before you even start, bro. What's up? What do you consider Dago? So you know, I have different people on here, and they were like, "Hey, man, Dago is you know southeast, and I had you North Park, then I had you know different areas of San Diego. What area uh, of San Diego do it's you consider Dago. Dago? It's all Dago. I love it, man. I said it from the border all the way to Oceanside. Let's go. It's Dago. All the way to Alpine. I heard that. I gotta see a map though. What's past Alpine? Alpine? No, Fall. Is that Fallbrook? Julian? Is that area like uh, that? Escondido? Palm Escondido, Desert? Uh, Escondido. I still consider it Dago. Okay. Okay. I tap in with Escondido. I, I be going out there when I be uh, selling merchandise and stuff. Flashy be B. All, My boy Flashy B. Hey, he hard too. He cold, bro. He stupid. Hard, bro. He one of the main people I I've I been listening to in my uh. My iTunes. Yeah. Him and uh right now is him and him and Keek. Keek. Them is my like go to uh Yeah. I just go to they, they page on, on iTunes and uh most popular songs and just let them rock. Man, shout out to yeah. Flashy B, man. That's my guy. And Lil Flashy too. <laughs> but he's I remember he was on here like uh, about a couple months ago. He said he didn't consider uh Escondido in San Diego because he didn't get the love. Uh -huh. And people don't understand because he was saying like a lot of people look down on him. You know, because he's from Escondido. You know what I mean? So, uh -huh. bro, super, super dope artist, man. Go listen to his music if you haven't heard so his he shit. So, he said he don't... I did see that. He said he don't consider Escondido Dago. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of like Oceanside, too. Like, mm -hmm. Oceanside, like, shout out to the homie Desi Hollow. Desi. Um, He just raps Oceanside. He don't rap, like, Dago like that. Because, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? There's always been a... There's always that conversation. We're so tricky... Uh, picky and tricky about our borders yeah about what's this what's that what's not what's you know what i'm saying and i'm, mm. I'm just like bro it's all dago it's to all me dago. it's all dago yeah to me it's all dago from san Ysidro all the way up to oceanside asking dude all this to all that i'm, I'm it's dago for sure A five eight six one nine seven six oh i heard that let them know man yeah. like i said i like i like your music because like i said you unify everybody and you push the culture forward you know what yeah, i mean for sure 
um, before we even start, man, let's get your, you know, let's get your background because, you know, some of my audience probably, they, if they haven't heard of Ryan Anthony, man, it, it's like I said, go cut this off and, you know what I mean, go man. do your due diligence. But man, I just want to get your background, bro. I wasn't working hard enough if they ain't heard about me. Oh, they better. They better. <laughs> but we want to get your background, where you from, you know, how, how was you raised and everything like that. Let's yeah, take it back yeah. to that young whippersnapper, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 for sure. So I'm from, I'm from Spring Valley. I'm Spring Valley Ryan. Okay, you okay. I'm saying? IG, follow me on there. Ooh. But yeah, Spring Valley, but... I grew up in Spring Valley on the on the on the on border of Spring Valley and Skyline. Okay, so that's why I, I talk about Southeast a lot too, because I I grew up, grew up in Southeast as well as as well as Spring Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, grew up in between Spring Valley and Skyline. Uh, played for Spring Valley Rec, played for Skyline Rec. Mm -hmm. Went to O'Farrell Middle School. Went to Bethune Elementary School. Right there on, on Woodman. That's kind of like Paradise Hills, kind of. Yeah, Paradise Hills. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so that just that that whole area. Yeah, 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 that whole area right there. So when did you uh, start, you know, get into the music? Like, what you know gravitated you to music? Um, when I was in middle school, I always said I was gonna be a producer. Mm. Uh, not even really knowing what that meant, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Really? But yeah, I just, but I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't start taking it seriously though until after, until after high school. Really? So, so, like, what made you like? You know, what turned you on about music? I what was know. it? I just, I, I just always, I've always liked just media in general. Mm. You know, I like music. I like movies. I like music videos. Mm. Some about it just always just captivated me. The hip hop culture. Yeah, it just, yeah. It just captivated me for sure, and so I, I don't know. And I was in like my parents had me in all type of like. Well, not all type. I was in like piano lessons. You play piano? Yeah, not. I, I wish I would have stuck with it. I wish I would have stuck with it, but I didn't. You been I, like? I ended up playing basketball and shit. Oh, bro, you yeah, been like I John should've. Legend over here, man. Yeah, yeah. I know. I should have stayed on the keys. Oh, you would have yeah, killed I them. Stayed on the keys. Yeah, I still. You know what I'm saying? I, I dibble and dabble because I make all my own beats. Yeah. Oh, you do? Every beat. Oh, you make all your beats? That dago? That dago? That's my stuff. Yeah, I made that. Wow, South, bro! Southeast Summers, I made that. Legend, I made that. Dago, Dago too, I made that. Barely see the beach. Barely see the beach. Stop, I made that. bro! Barely see the beach one, the album. Barely see the beach two, the album. Barely see the beach three, the album. Produced, recorded, engineered, mixed. Man, stop, bro! By Ryan Anthony. Stop, bro! Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hey, you got. Hey, you got to get this man. 100%. This man is a <laughs> talented. Hundred percent. So when I see when I see this setup like this, you know what I'm saying. I see the self sufficiency. Wow, I respect bro. Respect that because that's that's me. I'm I'm, I'm self sufficient. The only thing I don't do is master. Okay. I just I, I like to have somebody else with a different ear just mm. tweak it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm doing it because that's that's what I started with. I start. I didn't want to rap. I never wanted to rap. So okay, man. Um, tell me about the process of you making a song. Then so you will like lay a beat. You will, you'll come up with the beat. Then you come with the chorus. Then you just you mix it up. What what what's the what's the whole process? Yeah, I mean each each song is different. Mm -hmm. Each song is different, but majority of the time I'm I'm, I'm making a beat, mm -hmm. and then I just start coming up with the words as I'm making the beat. Interesting, yeah, bro. I, I come up to that's that's how I know if I if I well. That's kind of different. It, it, it's 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 a basis on, on you know, mm -hmm. uh, situational basis with the songs and stuff because each song is different. But majority of the time, I'm not even gonna say majority, but I make the beat as I'm making the beat, come up with the words. Mm -hmm. I got the mic set up right there. As soon as I bounce the beat down, put it in Pro Tools. <laughs> <laughs> record the, <laughs> record, the verse, crazy. record the verse you know what I'm saying mix it to see if it's like if it if it's even you know worth putting some verses on good shit bro you know what I'm saying I'm I'm and, really and impressed I, now uh, yeah then I come up with the verses if I you know and then mix it bounce it down interesting oh we got we got the songs now i'm really gotta listen to your shit man you know yeah. you know what i mean now i really gotta support you nah, know yeah for sure wow that's yeah, so every every single song um one of your favorite songs that really meant the most to me you know what i mean it was a uh, product of your environment yeah you know what i mean so did you you made that beat and everything like that too yeah you know what's crazy though 
So that's why I say everything is different because that that song, I was I was out somewhere with my kids. Mm-hmm. We was at like we was in like Huntington Beach or something, and it was just like super random. But I got out of the car and then I just started singing that. Mm. We didn't get the shoes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just, and then so I had the chorus. So then, so when I have times like that, like in my phone, I got, you know what I'm saying? We got the voice memos. Right. I got like thousands of voice memos that just like one line mm-hmm. or some, or, or a melody or, uh, you know, some lyrics or a couple bars here and there. And then I'll take that, <clears throat> take it back to the lab, try to, and then, and then make a beat around the chorus that I that I came up with in my head. Damn. Yeah. So uh, tell me about that song in particular, because like I said, that's one of my personal favorite. Of course, you mm-hmm. got a lot of good ones. You barely see the beach and all that. You know, uh, Dago, the one I played in the beginning. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of good songs. You got a lot of bangers, bro. But yeah. for for that one particular song, I feel like that represents the black culture of that represents us so well. Yeah. You know, you can be you know a young kid that's going up in the you know certain environment and you just meet certain people mm-hmm. and you do certain things by influence you right. know what i'm saying they don't make you a bad kid or anything or a bad person yeah. you know what i mean i feel like that one is like t- it t- even the visuals on that thing was just yeah. it painting that picture of what we go through as a as a as a culture yeah yeah right. you know what i'm saying yeah it was just it was just you know what i'm saying it was just on my on my heart on yeah. my mind like you know, we it's it's true. We don't get to choose what neighborhood mm. that our parents move to. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And it's like you hang out with the kids in that neighborhood. Yeah. Whatever they doing, you doing, whatever you doing, they doing. One hundred percent. And it's like we just living. One hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? We're just in our neighborhood hanging out with the homies. Yep. So it's like, you know, how how do we get faulted for our environment? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're a product of your own environment. Yeah, you're a product of your own environment, you know. <clears throat> and it's, I, I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people fall victim to their environments. Yeah. You know, and some people see that environment and, you know, they're like, okay, it's something else. We can figure something else out. But it's hard when you're younger, man, you know what I mean? Because oh, yeah, it's like, for sure. those are your homies. Yeah, so you're going to hang around sure. your homies. And you'll live with if they game bang or whatever it is, yeah. you know, you're going to hang around those people. And now you're associated with those people. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's kind of where, like, Barely See the Beach came up with, mm-hmm. right? Because inner city San Diego, it was like growing up, you ain't really go to the beach like that. Never. It was like, you know, on occasions, maybe on 4th of July, can't really get no parking on Fourth of July. Absolutely not. But it's like, and then, and then when we went up to the beach, it was funky. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying so. Something was going on. Yeah. So it, it was just like you know, um, yeah. That was that kind of just it just tied in with 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 the with the brand of barely see the beach, and yeah, yeah. Just I just like shedding light on those 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 issues, and and I just like to tell our story. Yeah, you do it, man. You do it yeah, in a very uh. I just like to tell our story. You do it in a very visual way. Um, it's so fun with barely see the beach, bro. I remember when Roxy, Roxy Rock was here, and I was telling him when I go to that beach, that water too damn cold anyway. They be jumping you know what in. I'm I'm not People don't even understand. Water. I'm not getting in that water. <laughs> Sixty I'm degrees getting, out there. I'm not getting in that water. <laughs> hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but but you know what? You know what's crazy though? It took me. I'll probably because I'm I'm 33 years old, right? Mm. It probably took me to till I was about like twenty eight, twenty nine, where I delivered something out in a kind of by a like Mission Bay or something, mm-hmm. Mission Beach, and then um, um, there's like a bridge where I'm coming back over the bridge, and I look to the right, and the scenery looks so beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful, bro. <laughs> It looks so beautiful, bro. I was like, damn. <laughs> and I'm just looking at it as I'm driving and I'm like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That the the sun was hitting the water. It's palm trees, it's boats and stuff. And I was like, bro, paradise is like It's here. Twenty minutes away from the house. It's here, bro. It's here. I took me twenty eight, twenty nine years to realize the beauty that was in 
Mm. Right down the right down the freeway. Bro, we're right we're, down the freeway. This is where people come and do vacations at, man. Yeah, you know man, what I mean? It's crazy. Especially Coronado Island Coronado Island, you go yeah, out there at nighttime and yeah. when that water is kinda like, you know, calm and clear, you see the reflection off the yeah. water. Oh my God, yeah. bro. Oh no, yeah, it's it's a different like But when you growing up when you growing up around what we was growing up around with, you know what I'm saying? You gotta maneuver through the gangs. Yeah. You gotta maneuver through you know all of that all the inner city struggles it's like yeah you don't even have time to think about yeah that. you got other shit to worry about yeah you don't even got time to think about the the paradise that's down the block that means down the freeway yeah you know you, you gotta worry about surviving you know yeah. other obstacles in life yeah for sure but yeah yeah I, that was I, I i'll never forget that aha moment i'm like damn yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because a lot of people don't understand what how beautiful San Diego is, man. I love this city, bro. I'm from Georgia originally, but mm-hmm. bro, I love this city, man. It's so yeah. it's so beautiful here. When'd you come out here? Uh, 98, 98, bro. I've been here since how 98. Old, so how old was you when you was in 98? You, you still in grade school? Yeah, I was in 10th grade, 10th yeah. grade in 98. So I was. Okay. Uh, was Where'd 16? you move to? Where'd you move to when you came out here? Um, Lemon Grove. Okay. I went to Helix High School. Oh, Helix Island. Highlander. Yeah, I'm a Miguel. I'm a Matador. I'm a Matador. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, it's kind of funky in here now. <laughs> 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 well, I went, hey, it's so funny. I went to Helix for like two years, then I went to yeah. Kearney, Kearney High School, because okay. my dad was in the military, so we yeah, got, yeah. you know, uh, uh, Neva Housing. So yeah. I moved to Kearney High School, and then I became a Comet. Okay. Then I played Matt Miguel. Okay. Football. Yeah. Okay. I played freshman football. I was trash though. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was not good. Oh, okay. Yeah. What what position I you play? Not good. I was safety. Oh okay. I yeah. can see that. I, I was safety and uh, I did special teams. Like, okay. Like kickoff and shit like that. One of them pretty boys. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wasn't. It wasn't. That wasn't for me though. I heard that. It I feel you. Sports. Yeah, sports not my thing. I feel you. Sports I feel you. Not my thing. Y'all had some grown ass men playing football from Mount Miguel. I remember that though. Some big ass men. I'm like, that's a grown man yeah. playing. We had a lot of Samoans. Yeah. You know it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, man. So like our freshman football, <clears throat> we um, you know, the squad at Mount Miguel at the time it was like it was black, Mexican, and Samoan. Mm. And we all, you know, 14 years old dealing with Gang banging and all this type of stuff, slap boxing and all this type of stuff, body size, you know what I'm saying? Regular. Yeah. yeah. And, and our first, we played a scrimmage against some North County team. It was like Poway or something. Mm. And we was like, man, we finna fuck them white boys up. <laughs> we finna go fuck them. We finna go to North County. We finna fuck them up. Bro, Motherfuckers. we got on that bus, drove 30 minutes to, to Poway. Mm hmm. Them big motherfuckers. <laughs> I know. Fuck us up. <laughs> I already know, bro. They go, what? We got whooped on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got whooped on. Man, I know how it is, bro, for sure. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Good times, though, man. Good times. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> hey, it's so funny, for like, sure. when, since we're older now, you look back on those times, you're like, damn, bro. That was good. That was cool, man. That yeah. was cool. Even the bad times, nah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for sure. It's all yeah. fun though. I it's, tell everybody, growing up was it, was it was fun. It's part of it's part of your journey, man. It was fun, man. Being yeah. outside. Mm-hmm. This is before the internet. You had to be. All the fun was outside. It wasn't yeah. no fun online, nowhere. Yeah. The house parties, all of that. The park, everything. Yeah. It was, it was fun. We were, just, we were just talking about that, man, how social media kind of, uh, you know, messes up people's lives, you know what I mean? Because yeah. people don't really go out and have fun anymore, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything, everybody's online or, or worrying about what they post online or living their life for social media. Yeah. Social media. Social media. Yeah. I think, you know, it's, you got to take the good with the bad. Absolutely. You know, it's, it, you know, social media has elevated a lot of people's lives, created a bunch of multiple incomes mm. streams for people and yeah you know all of that but then you got the people that just just be doing dumb shit 100 you know what i'm saying and, you know i can't <coughs> especially having kids too 
know what I'm saying you be seeing them on YouTube I be like turn this shit off <laughs> what the fuck what is this weak ass shit that you watching <laughs> like, this shit is crazy that's crazy bro yeah. so get, let's get back to more of your music man cause I gotta ask you a couple more questions on music <laughs> you know we went, sure. we went left a little bit <laughs> good conversation though um, who are some of your musical influences coming up all San Diego what yeah all San Diego so look, so I couldn't, uh, my parents would not let me listen to no rap music. I couldn't listen to uh, pretty mm. much nothing with like no cussing in it. Really? Yeah, they was, they was real strict on me about about music and, and movies and, and pretty much just what I was what I was digesting mm. as a as a young person. So, uh, so yeah, so I grew up listening to like ninety two point five, all the old school stuff. Nice old school and gospel. Mm. You know what I'm saying that's like the music that my parents play heavily, and the Whitney and Whitney Houston. Nah. You know what I'm saying all, all of that that uh the preachers preachers wife soundtrack. Oh, nice. That was a <laughs> <that was laughs> heavy rotation. Woo. Yeah, but um, yeah. So you know, but I always I always just like music. So they would take me to to these like um uh like uh, like uh, like Christian uh. They had Christian like bookstores. Oh, right. Okay. They had Christian bookstores, and they would have a music section. Mm. So they would like they would take me there and be like, "Pick something out of here." You like, I want to listen to shit. Like, bro, I do not want to <laughs> listen to this, bro. But I would still get it. Yeah. I would. I didn't really like it though. I really like. It. I was like, bro, this is not. This is not what I'm. What I was looking for. But then, but then, like, uh, warehouse the mo- the 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 music store. Mm-hmm. They had a section. They had a clean section. Mm. So um once I was like, hey, you know, they got a clean, you know, they got clean versions of mm. the songs I'm trying to get. Can we just look through there? Let me pick some. Mm. So I would pick stuff through there. But like when I when I but it was still like censored. So it's like once once I was able to, you know what I'm saying, venture out and find my own music, mm-hmm. it's pretty much all San Diego stuff. All San Diego stuff? Yeah. You know, it's so fun to like having kids now. I kind of understand, you know, why your parents kind of shelter you because they love you, bro. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? They want the best for you. Not yet, for you sure. know, but yeah. when we were coming up, we were like, man, time, come on, like, man. man. That's some bullshit. Right, yeah, right, right. You know what I mean? But I understand, you know, <clears throat> I understand why they did all that. Mm. <clears throat> I'm not as strict with my kids. No. Now, yeah, with the music, just because. They be listening. They be looking at my stuff too. Nice. You know, I be talking crazy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm not. I'm not as as strict as them. But mm. but yeah, musical influence though. All, all San Diego stuff, man. Mm. All San Diego. I, and then when MySpace, mm. MySpace music popped off, like I would go on MySpace music and all the local rappers. They had MySpace music pages, mm. so I would go on there and just download. Mm download all the all the music that was coming out of san diego oh shit okay yeah so I, I was like it was a bunch of click music it was a lot of gang banging music too you know what i'm saying i mean all our favorites mm. all of you know yeah of course our, you know what i mean yeah, yeah all our favorites is gang banging music 100 percent. but um yeah i'll just i've always been a fan of just san diego in, in general every everything mm-hmm. it's different when you hear music and people are talking about the streets that you on mm. or they talking about the park that you, is right up the street from you that's crazy or you know what i'm saying or talking about the school the high school in your neighborhood that's crazy when, when you hear that you like oh damn <laughs> it just hit different <laughs> yeah, yeah you know yeah. it hit different it's 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 just um you know what i'm saying what that like representation mm-hmm. representation is, is is crazy you can relate to it yeah yeah. yeah, representation is crazy. Yeah, so that's why I go so hard for San Diego. Yeah, and all my visuals and all my music. Yeah, man, like all your, most of your songs are like anthems. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. bro, you just they be slapping, bro. Like you can feel it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you can, like I said, you can relate to all the all your songs. Yeah, yeah. You know what I uh-huh. mean? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah, I just wanna, I just wanted to make dope songs because I, I would think about like all the songs growing up that uh, was our favorite songs by like. You know, by like Mac Fly and, and, and you know D Moss and, and everybody in, in that neighbor in, in that area that was putting out songs, and they had anthems mm. that people could put on, and we would know it word for word. Mm. 
And I just be like, man, I want a song like that. You like, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People is just like vibing with. You know what I'm saying? It's just an anthem that just came out of our section and, and, and people was just rocking with. Yeah. So I was like, I just want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Who's some of your, uh, specifically, who's some of the artists that you really loved coming up <clears throat> that meant the most to you? Yeah, Mac Fly, mm -hmm. uh, Mitchie Slick, D Moss. Clack, clack. Um, all of the heavy hitting. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's a lot. I heard that. It's a lot. It's a lot. So, when you like, were you like uh, signed to Nick Cannon as well, too, at one point? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? How was yeah, that? How was, was that situation? I was. <laughs> Uh, situation was cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, Nick, he helped me out uh, directly and indirectly as well. Really? Yeah, because I got into that situation through. So I'm, I moved to LA. Mm. I moved up to LA in uh, maybe 2012, maybe. Okay. 2011, 2012, something like that. And. Um, yeah, I just moved out there chasing dreams, and I would I, I Twitter Twitter was around, so I, I put something out on Twitter. I was like, "Hey, who in Dago is in LA? Because mm. I'm trying to find me a situation." <clears throat> so uh, my guy Gene, he a barber, chisel guy. Shout out to him. <clears throat> he hit Trey Bug. Mm -hmm. Who Trey Bug is the studio manager at Incredible, mm. which is Nick Cannon's studio. Okay. So Gene hit Trey Bug and was like, I have my little my little dude, he do music, he dope, he doing his thing. He wanna know if you got an intern position for him. Mm. So Trey Bug was like, give me his number. He called me, you know, chopped it up a little bit. And he was like, I got a studio session tomorrow uh, with the Rangers. That's when jerking, the jerking movement was, was really cracking. Okay, in. yeah. And he was like, uh, come do that session. And then we could go from there. So I was like, for sure, I'll be there. <clears throat> Went up, did the session. You know, I've been doing it. I've been, like, I, you know what I'm saying? That's my background, engineering. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Did it. He was like, how'd it go? He was like, it was, it was cool. It was regular. It was, well, I do this. He was like, okay, I got another one tomorrow. Mm. Come back. And then I was just in there. So it was a couple months before I actually met Nick. Because mm. I was just working with Trey Bug. I was just Trey Bugs intern doing all the studio sessions. Mm -hmm. So them allowing me to be in the studio and me putting in all the work, they would just let me like come in there, make beats, let me record, mm -hmm. let me uh do whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? So so then I'm in there, I'm making noise, making making songs, people is liking them, coming through the studio, like, oh, what's that? What's that? And it's like, oh, you rap too? Oh, okay. Oh, you making beats too? Okay, 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 for sure. So then it just, you know what I'm saying? The music just traveled up to, to it got to Nick ears and he was fucking with it. Yeah. So I was in, I was with the, I was in that situation for, <clears throat> for a few years. That's nice. That's pretty dope, yeah, bro. for a few years. But yeah, Nick Cannon, man, he, he bought me my passport, put me on tours, Send me overseas, experience all type of stuff that I wouldn't have experienced if I wasn't in that situation. That's dope. And I was only 22. Mm. I was like 22, 23 years old. Yeah. <clears throat> so it was a, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a major, major experience. Super life experiences, and I say he helped me indirectly as well because just being in that studio. I, I just got so much knowledge. That's dope, you know bro. What I'm saying he could have easily told Trey Book, get, get this little dude. Get, yeah, get him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, you know what I'm saying he making that electricity bill super high. Got get him up out of here, but he never <laughs> did that. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, so it's all it's it always loved in Nick Cannon because yeah, yeah. You know, so funny like you know even like you know off air and things like that. I heard a lot of cool things about Nick Cannon, man. Like yeah, he I heard he's do. a really good person. You know, he behind the do. scenes and things like that. You mm -hmm. know, yeah, he's solid. Yeah. He's solid down to earth. What about uh, you know? What are some benefits did you have? You know, being signed, vice versa, being not signed as an artist. Would you say uh, the budget? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a budget for you to, you know, get a tour bus and go to South by Southwest, and mm -hmm. there's a budget for a plane ticket to get to New York to do Wild and Out. There's 
it's, that that's pretty much what it is. Um, yeah, it's, it pretty much just comes down to budget. But then you got to give up your, you know, kind of your your creative freedom a little bit too. Mm, mm. You know, so you know. I always wonder, like, how does it work behind the scenes? Like, you know, if you make a song and make an album, are you able to choose the album or the songs that you really want? <clears throat> Behind nah. the scene. No, Damn. <laughs> nah, not really. It's like wow. you got input, you got input, and you can, uh, you know, you can kind of persuade, and you can, you know, what I'm saying like, nah, this the one, this the one, this the one, this the one. But you can say that to as much as you want to. Mm. If if the higher ups that's putting it out is like, that's not the one. Yeah, it's not coming out. Mm. And then if you put it out, you put it on YouTube. Then what? Then Damn. it's nothing. Then they really don't want it. Right, 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 because you didn't even make a play around what we was trying to do. Right, right, right. Yeah, so so you will make the songs and then do you submit the songs to them and they will pretty much choose the songs that they want to put yeah, on the album. Yeah, so I would, I would, uh, yeah, I would just make songs and I would just send them. I would just send them in. Like, what do y'all think about this? What mm. do you think about this? What do you think about this? That that was that was pretty much my process, you know. And I was in, you know, what I'm saying it was all in house, so I wasn't the the label was at the studio. The whole mm. core of the label was at the studio. Yeah. So I literally be in the B room, make a song, go knock on the go knock on their door like, hey, come to the B room real quick. Damn. Come, could, tell me what you think about this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, it was it was a, you know, and, and no, everybody's label situation is different too. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You yeah. Know? You know, on but, the business side of it. Yeah. But that was that was just that was my. My experience with it, mm. yeah. My experience with it, man. I appreciate you being transparent, man. You know what I mean. Yeah, Sharing nah, the experience, yeah, for so. sure. You got to give up the game. Mm -hmm. You got to give up the game, especially when you get older. It's a bunch of young dudes coming up. Mm. They 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 saw you do your thing. They still still see you doing your thing, and it's like they don't got the game that I got. Yeah. So it's like, why would I not spread that knowledge, especially if I'm so me personally i'm so dago i'm mm. so we gotta push the people forward mm -hmm. you can't push your people forward if you ain't dropping no knowledge on them facts you know what i'm saying knowledge is what pushes everything 100 percent. yeah so I'm gonna, I'm gonna always keep it anything even when the, the young dudes be coming up asking me about the merchandise how i'm pushing the merchandise i mm -hmm. tell them everything yeah i tell them everything i tell you where i'm getting it printed from i tell you how to get your how to get your license how to get Everything you need, how to get your EIN, how to get your LLC, whatever you need, whatever you know. what I'm saying, if I got the game, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it to you. I heard that, man. Sure. That's, that's how it's supposed to be, bro. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, you was around Ryan B uh, Bowers a, a lot, you know, coming up. RIP, that's my guy. Yeah, RIP. Yeah, that's my brother. Yeah, give me some experiences being around Ryan yeah, Bowers, that's man. That's my brother, man. Uh, I seen him cover your videos, man. Don't it? You're going crazy. Oh, RIP, though, man. man. Yeah, RIP. That's my that's my little bro, man. Mm -hmm. I got him. Uh, so look, so so I was in LA, okay, and at the at the uh, at Incredible. Mm -hmm. And Nick is putting his group together, mm -hmm. and um, he's like kind of forming like a. It's kind of like a. He wants it to kind of be like Wu Tang. Okay. So he's like looking for, he's looking for different artists. He's looking for different artists. So he like. Um, he was looking for somebody. He's just looking for. He's just looking for different artists. Yeah. I was working with Ryan Bowers, at the time. Was I? Yeah, I was working with him. I did a couple songs with him. We just kind of gravitated towards each other. He like was hitting me up on Facebook for the longest time. Mm -hmm. I was just like, "Who is this little kid? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this little kid keep hitting me?" Yeah. But I finally hit him back one time, and you know, we just gravitated towards each other, and we was just we was just rocking, we was just locked in, making music, hanging out, just kicking it. Mm. But yeah, so Nick was forming his group, and then I called Bowers. I was like, "Hey, send me, send me like two, three songs right now." Mm. He was like, all right, for sure. I didn't even tell him about what. He sent it to me. I'm in the studio with Nick. I'm like, hey, listen to this. And I just put it, turn it up super loud because there's a lot of people in there. If you want to be heard, you got to be loud. Yeah. Put it on. Nick turned around like, okay. Okay, who is that? Who yeah. is that? I said, it's my guy from Dago. Damn. Like us. He from Dago. He like okay okay, I put another song on him. 
another song of his on. He fall in love with it. Nick love it. He like, all right, all right. I need to I need to talk to him. Damn. Boom, called him. Called him. Hey, Bowers, I got somebody I want you to talk to. Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. What? Boom. That's crazy. Yeah. And ever since then, Nick super loved Bowers. Like, mm. crazy. It's crazy. Bowers just had this just this star personality about him. Mm. He was just like always he always figured out a way to be the center of attention. Mm. Even not even trying to be. He's just goofy and loud <laughs> and annoying and obnoxious. But it's like you just loved him though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just loved him. So yeah, that's that, that but that's my guy though. That's my guy. We we Yeah. Rest in peace, man. Rest yeah. in peace, man. In. Never met him before, man, but he seemed like the cool coolest dude yeah, ever, bro. Man. Yeah, yeah, man. That, that's that's my brother, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, give me some uh, inf- uh, give me some knowledge that you would drop on since you were talking about you know giving game to the younger uh, aspiring artist, you know who <coughs> wants to be the the Ryan Anthony. Give me some some knowledge that you will shed on to them. So you know, uh, first of all, you can't beat me. You, I heard you, that you got to be yourself. Let's that's, go. That's, that's that's number one. I, I feel like that's. Uh, it's that's what's wrong with a lot of artists today. Mm. They are trying to be somebody else. Mm. Stop doing that. We already got that person that you're trying to be. Mm-hmm. We need somebody else. Right. So be yourself. That's number one. But you got to know your business, though. You know, um, like yeah, when you're young and you just, I think about those times where I'm just in the studio, just. Making beats all day, all day is fun. Just yeah. making music is fun. It's fun. It's fun. Don't lose that either. Like, continue that because once you lose your creative process, mm-hmm. it's real hard to tap back into it. Right. You know. So so do that. But at the same time, you still gotta know the business. It's the music business. You know what I'm saying you got the music. Okay, now business. You know, everybody got music. Right. There's so much music getting put out. Who business is right? Yeah. You know? Yep. How who who's monetizing that situation? Also that too. Figure out how to monetize yourself right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're only getting ten, fifteen dollars. Yeah. Monetize your stuff and just grow it. <clears throat> Yeah, I heard that. And just, and just grow it. What are, What are some things that you experienced coming up business wise that you can shed onto us? You know what I mean? Like some trials and tribulations that you experienced coming up. You know that you can some mistakes <laughs> that you made that you can show hey, us. Hey, pay your taxes on time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let me tell you. Yes. Let me tell you. Yeah. Don't mm-hmm. get on their bad side because it's hard getting uh getting back good when you're on their bad side. Facts. Yeah. Pay your taxes, but get your get your um. Get your LLC, because mm. you could do a lot with business credit. Yeah. You could do a lot with business loans, because um, that, that's pretty much why everybody wants to get signed. Yeah. It's for the capital. Mm-hmm. They want the money. But you could get you could get your own money. Yeah. And yeah. for a better a better rate, too. You mm-hmm. know, the, the, the bank only going to charge you some interest. Mm-hmm. The label going to charge you your whole... Ooh. Your whole... Uh, Ownership. They gonna they gonna get you, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, they gonna charge your your whole ownership. Damn. So yeah, get your you know what I'm saying, get an LLC, get you an EIN, get you some business credit, mm-hmm. leverage leverage uh, loans. You know, don't be don't don't spend your re up money on no stupid on, stuff, huh? On, on the designer and the and the forens. I heard that. You know. I heard that. Hey, um, I asked all the artists this, and I can't wait to ask you this, bro. Oh, I've sure. been waiting to ask you this, bro. Yeah. I need to know your your opinion on the state of San Diego music right now. Oh, I love it. I love it. How do you it. think we're doing? I love it. I've always loved it, though. Mm. That's me. Let's go. I've always loved San Diego music, man. <clears throat> like, like I said earlier, man, it's just so captivating to me because it's people that's in my city. Right. You know, but I love San Diego music right now. The state of it, the young dudes doing shows. People is actually coming to the to the to the. Uh, Let's go. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Coming to the events. You know, it's beautiful. I love seeing it. Yeah. I love seeing it. Seeing them sell out House of Blues and 
sell out Phantom and sell out the uh, what's the spot in Chula Vista that everybody doing shows at with a uh, DJ Playboy. Uh, oh it, yeah, I'm talking about. Name. Yeah, I don't know the venue, but I yeah, I'm talking venue, about. But yeah, them, Shout out DJ Playboy yeah, though. Them selling all that out, it's like I see that, bro. I get hyped, man. Yeah, I get hyped. I'm like, okay. Okay, yeah, we doing it. We mm. doing it. Okay, yeah. Hell yeah, man. For sure, yeah. It give me, it, we we on. We got some so many dope artists nah, here too, man. On. I love it, bro. We got yeah. some a lot of different talent, man. Nah, yeah, we yeah. on for sure. Hey, I watched it. I watched this the slick interview. Woo! Right, and he was like, um, he was like, put your starting five. When, you know what I'm saying? When he was like, yeah. you got to play a different city. Yeah, yeah. I got somebody for any city. Oh, let me hear it, baby. Let I got me hear for, it. I got something for. I got something for any city. Cause also, cause Ooh. also, he said. Also, he said. Mm-hmm. The uh, the person with a million views mm-hmm. is not better than the person with a hundred thousand. True. Right. True. So if we not basing numbers, mm-hmm. and we just it's talent, and we just going off of, you know talent. what I'm saying? We just going off the talent. Yeah. We sticking a lot of niggas. We sticking a lot of niggas, bro. Let's go. We sticking a lot of niggas for sure. So who'd you put on Kendrick? Who am I? We gonna have to double team the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we gonna have to double team the nigga. But bro, bro, we gonna get on him. I mean, Slick gonna have to get on. You know what I'm saying? We gotta. You know, we gotta we'll put Slick on Kendrick. We gotta put Slick on Kendrick. Let's go. Hey, you know Mitchie, you heard that, Mitchie? We gonna put you well, on Kendrick. Yeah, who you want? Who you want to go? You gotta double team the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Some niggas gotta get double team, but that's a team sport. Let's go. I love you know what it. Saying? Bro. If we play in a team sport, you know what I'm saying? We can strategize. We could go up against anybody. I love it, bro. For sure. Right now, for sure. The OGs mm-hmm. with the young dudes that we got right now. Yeah. You trying to tell me we can't go up against? Come on. That's what I was trying to tell him, man. And that's the thing about Mitchy nah, Slick, we man. Go up like, against him. I, I was think, just with Slick, too. He just told me, to, uh, I just pulled up on him a couple days ago. Yeah, that's my guy, bro. That's the homie. I think he just don't understand how much he he's he's meant for the city, man. Like how much we care, we we love and we respect him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and things that he's done for the city, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out to Mitchy Slate. Nah, yeah, he, he he's done so much. That's that's the big homie for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's 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 done a lot for me. You know, just mm-hmm. getting on uh, cause I I put out barely see the beach, um, in 2016 maybe. Yeah. Um, he he cameoed in the video. Which was major, mm. and then he got on my follow up single was never been. You ain't ever been to the southeast, right? And I reached out to Slick to put him on there, and uh, he was with it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that was that was just that was a major play for for me and my my career at that time. Yeah, you know, and Slick always look out. He don't put me on shows. You know what I'm saying? We we performed at the at, at Wild and Out when they did that show out here mm-hmm. at a like SDSU or sold out arena. Yeah, he he called me up and was like, "We we we here, put mm. up." Mm. And then he put me on like the game. He has a couple shows with the game. He put me on, so it was like to hear people be like, "Slick ain't did nothing." Like what? They're tripping, bro. That niggas is tripping. And he's one of those dudes too that he don't he does a lot, but he don't publicize it. Yeah, that's the thing. And shout out to oh, Big yeah. June too, man. That's yeah. another one of the you know OGs that you yeah, know does a lot. All the, uh, shout out to all the OGs, man. Yeah, man. A lot of people like that's what, when I said uh, like Nick helped me out indirectly. Mm-hmm. People got to understand the indirect help mm-hmm. that you're receiving just mm-hmm. from people being who they are and going and pushing the line for mm-hmm. the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like you, they're, they're just because they ain't come knock on your door and be like, here go, uh, here go a, a, a radio spin or here go a feature. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them being outside doing that thing for the city, saying Dago, go tap in with Dago. Okay, now you got to make a play to where you could be seen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody thinks somebody's supposed to directly come and help you do something. It don't work like that. Ain't nobody that's on. Had nobody come and just gave them give you something. Did nobody, everybody earned their spot. Absolutely, bro. Everybody earned their spot. You got to earn yours. Everybody got to earn their spot. Yeah. Would you ever think there's gonna be a time that we're gonna get a a dope song or like a a collab with all the Senegal OGs? Like who? I mean, we did Dago too. Oh yeah, you, you know, the, most of your saying, songs are like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? We did we did Dago too. Dago too had a. Uh, who was on Big June, Lil CS, mm-hmm. uh, 12 Gay Shoddy, yeah. Lil Grifo, Lil Weirdo. Uh, 
Damn, that motherfucker was knocking too. Yeah, right. And then mm-hmm. we tapped in with all the SA hoods too. Got them in there, the Filipino homies, the Samoan homies. So it's like we've we've had a couple of songs. I, I feel like the song that that people when people say that they want Slick J O and, and Big Jones. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. have, have we had that song? Nah, we have we haven't had that song. Will we have that song? I don't know. Those are three grown men that gotta you know do whatever they gotta do. If they want to make the song, they'll make the song. You know what's funny? I think like out of anybody who make who can make it happen, it's Ryan Anthony. Uh, I didn't try. Hey, <laughs> damn! Yeah. I didn't try, man. I didn't mm. try. Uh, I've definitely tried. You know, um, just having. Having having Slick and Big June in the same video was major. Huge. You know what I'm saying? Huge. So, you know, I tried to for sure get a, get a song with. For all, sure. All, <laughs> for sure. All, I don't really. I don't have a personal connection with 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 J-O. We ain't uh, we ain't really tapped in like that. I got him. I got him though. So we can yeah, work together know, and make you know something saying, happen. I, I know. I know. You know what I'm saying it's all Dago. We all connected in some type yeah. of way. But I, I, we haven't. Uh, mm. We haven't tapped in yet. That's what's up, man. And like yeah. I said, out of anybody who probably can make that happen, it's probably Ryan Anthony, bro. Man, That's I wanna, crazy. I want to be the person to make that happen. That'd be so special yeah, for the I city. Do. I, I want to be the person to make that happen. Yeah, you know, I think I think that'd be, I think that'd be lit. You know, San Diego. I, I make the San Diego anthem. So, Ooh, you make yeah, you make I, them I, bangers. Yeah, I, I would love to. I would love to make that happen. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, um, question for you. Mm-hmm. I want to know your favorite song that you made so far. What's what's the song that have the most significance to you? It's a lot of songs, man. I know, I know. Um, Product I, of your environment is my favorite out of all of them, bro. I don't, I don't even know if you don't know this one. Uh, mm. It's called Whole Fifth. Whole Fifth? Yeah. I gotta look that one up. I don't remember that one. That was on. Was that the first one? Barely see the beach. That was on Barely see the beach too. Okay. Yeah, Whole Fifth. That's my favorite. That's my favorite video. I have a video to that. Mm. That's my favorite video. It's just a vibe. It's just like I don't know why. I just see it and I just be mm. happy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It just give me a feeling. Mm. Um I gotta hear that one. Yeah. There's a lot of it's a lot of songs. So it's like I make a lot of anthems. I'm I'm known for, you know, Dago, Southeast Summers, never been to the Southeast, barely see the beach. But there's a lot of songs on all of those albums that I listen to. I listen to. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I listen to them and I be amazed at myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, especially making this fucking beat to all hey, of them songs. Let me talk about shit, man. I Let's listen go. to it sometimes. Like, damn, you was in your bag when you was making this. Let's go. You know what I'm saying. So, so there's a. It's a lot of. It's a lot of joints, man. It's you, a lot of joints on them. On you deserve the respect, bro. You deserve that respect, man. Because, like I said, you're one of those artists that put Dago in the forefront, and you, like I said, you bring all the hoods, all the cultures together, man. It, yeah. it's, it's that feel good music too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Big on the, uh, big on bringing the cultures together too. Not That's just, dope. not just. I feel like that was missing too, because mm. in San Diego, you know, black people and, and Mexican people, we we cohesive right you know what i mean our street politics don't really intertwine with each other Mm -hmm. so there's never really a situation to where we can't work together right you know what i'm saying so i just i was just like man we ain't really had no 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 song where it's been like prominent black people and the prominent mexican people on the same yeah in the same video or on the same songs and I was just like, I'm about to change that. Let's go, bro. I'm about to change that. So that's why the Dago 2 video was so, uh, it started off with Market Street mm. with with the homies over there on Market. And then we got, <clears throat> start out to Beto. Bet, I, I don't, Beto from South Bay. Mm-hmm. South Bay is a lot different than like Southeastern Spring Valley, but I didn't really know nobody in South Bay like that. Mm. So Bethel kind of tapped me in with with like Imperial Beach and San Ysidro and and uh, you know a couple of the other uh, neighborhoods out there. But yeah, just having that, bro, and having the people pop out and people seeing that all together, us all together, the whole city, bro, it's, it's major. Yeah, yeah, it's major. Yeah, bro, it's major. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Like I said, I appreciate you too, man. That's that's good for the culture. Um, even that song with Rossi Rock, man. You and Rossi Rock barely see the coast. <laughs> Yeah, Barely through the coast, bro. Oh my uh, god. Yeah, yeah. we got yeah, another. We got one. another one on his song uh, on his uh, on his album too. I forget the name of it. Yeah. Cause I look, I went over to the studio that day to record the other song. I forget mm-hmm. the name of it, but it's it, it's on that same uh, the same album on SD Player. Yeah. Rossi Rock. I went over there to record that, and then I got out of the studio, and then he just started playing that beat to Barely See the Coast. Yeah. And then we knocked that out that same uh, that same night. So yeah, that was completely unplanned. Yeah, it was just you know what I'm saying. But shout out to Rossi though. That's the shout out to sure. Rossi Rock man. That's my yeah. guy. Shout you know out, what yeah, I'm saying? San Diego girls too. Yeah, that's, uh, the song that we did, the first one, the first one that we did, I, I really like that song. Yeah, man, San Diego Y'all, girls. You guys, see, it, it, that song for sure felt like you guys. That was a good mesh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, that was so. pretty dope. Yeah, that's the homie. Yeah, so barely see the beach, bro. Merch. You are yeah. killing it, bro. In San Diego on this merch, bro. It's so yeah. funny. I remember I remember <laughs> I went downtown one day, bro, and I was like, I seen some white dude wearing it. And I was like, mm-hmm. like, like P B. Mm-hmm. I'm like P B, like that P B crowd. Mm-hmm. I was like, what the heck? Isn't that? Bro, mm-hmm. man, I'll start seeing everybody wearing this merch, man. You are mm-hmm. killing it. So <laughs> I was yeah. like, damn, yeah. Yeah. my dude Ryan Anthony is killing it yeah. over there with this merch. How did you get yeah. started with it? What was the idea? Like, what was the inspiration behind Barely See the Beach? Yeah, um, I mean, Barely See the Beach. The 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 phrase Barely See the Beach started because when I when I was going out of town, and I tell people I'm from San Diego, mm-hmm. they would just have this misconception that we all live. <clears throat> Uh, on the beach and we all have surf we all surf and we all live under palm trees and you know we all just live in paradise absolutely you know so I would you know kind of explain the inner city culture of San Diego and then I'd be like you know what I'm saying like we barely see the beach so then I just you know turn it into a song but the the merch came about because so I went on tour with Tech Nine, mm. the underground underground legend Tech Nine, right? Damn. And before we went on tour, he took us to his warehouse. He has an entire warehouse, like probably six times the size of this this no young spot way. right here, and it's filled with just merchandise. Wow. Right. And he was on Forbes. He's probably still on Forbes, <clears throat> but he was on Forbes consistently, like grossing over ten million a year. On merch. Just, just all together, all it was like 10, 10 yeah. million a year, right? Mm-hmm. And then he has, he said something that just always stuck with me. He was like, "Yeah, seventy percent." He was like sixty. It was either it was like sixty, seventy, or eighty percent of that ten million is coming from this merchandise right here. Wow. So I was like, okay. I gotta start making some t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, gotta start making some t-shirts, right? But uh, yeah, and then and then when we was on tour with them, you know, you would see the fans. They had a whole merch booth set up, mm. and the fans would just be so lit at the merch booth, mm. buying up everything just because they rock with Tech Nine so heavy. Mm. So I was I was like, okay, I need to, you know. I need to tap into that. I need to tap into it. I tell everybody too, if you're an artist for sure, just start making some merch. But the first the first design I did was the You Ain't Ever Been to the Southeast. Mm. It was, I made that shirt because um, the song was buzzing. So I was like, all right, let's just make some let's make some shirts to go with uh to go with the song. So as you ain't ever been to the Southeast on the front and I had barely see the beach written on the back. Mm. And then yeah, I had like probably I don't know, 80 to 100 shirts pressed up. And it took me a while to sell those, that that first batch of shirts. But yeah, it just, I just stuck with it. Mm. I stuck with it, made, you know, made some bad decisions with, with the re up money sometimes. And, you know, people are asking me, I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to get that. I don't even have no money to get it made. Mm. So I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta. I gotta get business savvy with yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so okay, I gotta get business savvy with it, and yeah, it's been a blessing, bro. We we've been 
we we've been cranking cranking this merch out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We doing we, it. We doing numbers off the merch for sure. Yeah, bro. I seen pictures of you just got hundreds and hundreds of bags of everything, man. man. Yeah, it's it's a blessing though. It's yeah. a blessing for sure. Yeah. And that my goal too is like okay, every time I leave the house, I need to see somebody with with the merch on. You do no yeah, matter. And like sure. I said, it's I think it's one of those universal brands that crosses over to all all different genres and races and everything because mm-hmm. everybody wears it. Yeah, it's yeah, dope, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, it really is crazy. Yeah, because like I go up to my, I go up to pick up my kids from school. Like the kids got it on. Me at the grocery store. That's People crazy. At the grocery store got it on. I know that make you feel good, I mean, bro. You know what's the craziest? The craziest. It was a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know when you when you doing merch, you try to just do different strategies, different drops. Try to do some exclusive stuff. Mm-hmm. So this one time, I made this exclusive, uh, this exclusive design. It was the so I made a bear, it's a California bear, mm-hmm. and it was the barely see the beach collection, like bear mm-hmm. played on the bear. Gotcha. Yeah, barely see the beach. <clears throat> we made like forty, right? Forty is probably like twenty shirts, twenty hoodies. Sold it for a little bit, a little bit higher price than what we sold the rest of the stuff. And I told people I was like, we're never making this again. Which is this forty? You know what I'm saying? Get it while we got it. If you don't got it, then you'll never have it. Mm. This was like four years ago, maybe. Four or five years ago. I promise, like two weeks ago, I'm getting off the freeway. I'm getting off the 125 on Hammershaw. This girl is standing on the corner, and she has the shirt on. No way. I'm like, I ain't never seen one of those in a while. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I was like, damn. <laughs> and I don't even have one. That'd, wow. be, that'd be the crazy part too I, I'll see stuff And I'll, I'll, I'll have forgotten Because we put out so much stuff So many different colorways mm-hmm. I'll see a colorway And be like Damn that was cold <laughs> I should have kept one <laughs> I should have kept one of those that's But yeah up. Seeing her in there I was like Damn that It was just like Damn that's crazy Damn man you know it's, just, it's, it's crazy It's a trip seeing it well, Congratulations yeah. on that man Because you're re- really successful in that yeah, 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 it's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. You know what I'm saying? We're we're all we're community driven. We give back a lot. We uh, yeah, it's all all about San Diego and mm-hmm. just uplifting, shedding light, making stuff for all sections of the town too. Yeah, you know, you have a, a charity coming up too, right? With uh, with it's on portion? Saturday. It's okay, on, I'm not sure when this is airing. Okay, but um, it's actually Monday. So okay, but this Saturday, mm-hmm. uh, August 12th, we'll be at Mount Miguel High School. Doing a Barely See the Beach backpack giveaway. Yeah. We've been doing it since 2018. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful time, man. I, I love, it's, it's like my favorite part of the year, mm. putting these together. Good shit, you know bro. We, we give away a thousand backpacks, bring the jumpers out, got the face paint, got a uh, DJ coming out, the barbers come out, Damn. bless the kids. Um, I rented out a, a Palatetto. The ice cream man court. That's dope, man. Giving away over five hundred popsicles to the kids, all type of free food and stuff. And mm. you know, when I when I put these events together, the community really just, you know, what I'm saying, just jumps in. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying, it's like they they know everybody know I'm gonna do it. So it's like when I announce it, then people hit me up like, hey, I can do this. Mm. I, I could do that. I could give them. Some free clothes. Mm-hmm. I could get in some free food. I could I could face paint. I could cut hair. I could Yeah. You know, so I just kinda set the stage and then everybody just jumps in and mm. put put stay little put stay little part into it. Yeah, you do it out of love, man. So I think people wanna, you know, be around it, you know what I mean? 'Cause it's 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 it's, it's positive. It's something positive. Nah, yeah, for surely. Yeah. For sure. Um, I I wanna know one thing though before we get out of here. I wanna know um your favorite your favorite um time on um, going tour with tech nine you said your favorite moment that you had on tour with tech nine and i want to know what's the your favorite song to pull uh the play to get the crowd going crazy i can't even tell you a favorite moment really the whole experience was insane i can only imagine with tech nine bro that the whole experience was insane because when you first start out you're looking at Drake and mm. Lil Wayne and T Pain and everybody that's just in the 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's in the, in the media all the time. Right. Seeing Tech Nine's world, it's crazy. He getting way he getting way more bread than a lot of the people in the main in the in the main light, and he's selling out every city every date. Damn. Every city we go to is sold out. That's crazy. You don't hear about Tech Nine on on on, on Shade Room. Mm-mm. You don't hear about Tech Nine on BET MTV. You're not hearing about that. But every night, every city, this man is selling out, and it's not like hundred hundred people venues. He's not doing dive bars. He's doing the <laughs> House of Blues. Ooh, ooh, ooh. it's twelve hundred people a night. That's crazy. Every city throughout all throughout the entire nation. You know what I'm saying? So seeing that, it was like, okay, this underground world. Mm-hmm. You can make a lane for yourself. You don't gotta be. You don't gotta be in the spotlight the whole time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You just create your you create your fan base, create your world, and then the people that are wanna be in your world will rock with you. Yeah, he because he has a cult like following, bro. It's a cult. Yeah, it's a cult like following. It was some of the most. Dopest people, some of the dopest people, man, I've mm. ever met, and and what's also beautiful about so with the merchandise too, right? So it, it got popular too because I'm out the trunk, mm. I'm delivering all of it. Oh, nice. Yeah, so people just hit me up like, "Hey, can you pull up and um, you know I want to get some hoodies?" So I I throw everything in the back of the trunk, I pull up. I've been doing that since I started, so. In the midst of doing all of that, I'm in parts of San Diego that I would have never been in mm. if I wasn't doing this. I'm meeting with people I would have never met mm-hmm. if I wasn't outside just tapping in with people that just wanted to be a part of something. Mm. Right? Wanted some merch. Wanted to, you know, like what I'm doing. So it's like, I be through the whole city meeting with. It's beautiful. Just yeah. the, 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 the variety of people and the and the there's you know you know it's different like you got like the downtown scene yeah you got like the hipster scene you got like the surfer scene you got you know everybody's yeah. kind of in their own world yeah i be i wiggle through all of those worlds that's dope bro and it's just the most i just sit back sometimes and i'm just like man this is <laughs> like ain't nobody experienced in the city like this yeah you know what i'm saying this I be pulling up to Quinceañeras, like, I'm chilling, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I be at bar mitzvahs and stuff, like, I'm just, I'm there. And I pull up like this with the hoodie on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just, I'm there, I'm chilling. Yeah. And it's like, I'm just, I'm being myself, and I'm I'm just in all of these different worlds of, of different cultures <laughs> of, throughout the city. That's dope, you know, bro. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's. I just be amazed, man. Building relationships, man. That's yeah. awesome, bro. Yeah, I'll be amazed for real. All right. I'll be hey, for real. I need to know Ryan's Anthony's favorite taco shop. It depends on where I'm at. Oh man, we got multiple. Yeah, it's a lot of them now. Yo, I, but I need to know I'm, number one. Number one, though. That number one. I see. Put it like this. <laughs> Put it like this. See, if one of, if one of your relatives come out of town, never been to San Diego, never been to San Diego, and they were like, yeah. "I want you to take me to the, your favorite taco shop to represent San Diego." Where would you take them? That, they never had a burrito before. Never had a burrito before. Or tacos or whatever. All right, so this this did happen not too long, uh, a couple years ago. My family from Chicago came out here, and uh, it was we went to Phantom Lounge and. Uh, they wanted a spot. I took them to Forty Third. I took them to Humberto's over there on Forty Third. Mm, okay. So that's 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 a good spot. That's a good spot to go to. El Puerto in the Valley is a good spot. Um, Sarita's in the Valley is a good spot. Let's go. Uh, so I like Super Sergio's too. Super Sergio's got a good. I like Super their, Sergio's. I like, I like their potato roll tacos over there. Okay. They got okay. Some fire. Um, El Toro, they right by uh, Skyline Library. They got some fire too. Okay. Um, <laughs> man, I'm just saying, bro. It's a lot of spots. I be, I, yeah, cause I be, man. I be all through the city. So I got, I kind of got a different, 
a different spot in each uh, each part of the town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey man, I appreciate you for coming on, man. You know what I'm saying, and, and, and spreading the knowledge and the love, man. Like I said, you one of the most loved artists in San Diego. You know what I'm saying. You know you you look on on the internet or, or social media, bro. Everybody is showing love to Ryan Anthony, man. And it's because yeah. I feel like you put out a lot of love and a lot of respect and a lot of uh, you know, good uh, yeah. good vibes, positive vibes to the community, man. And I pre I want to I want to say I appreciate you too, man, for you know pushing the culture forward, bro. Nah, you know what yeah. I mean. For sure, man. All San Diego, Dago, baby. Let's we go. All right, we gonna be all right. We good. D A G O. D A Y G O. D A Y G O. I you... mean, it depends. We are. It's all the same people. <laughs> <laughs> Just like it, it's in the song. It's generational. I feel like it's generational and it's and it's uh, sectional too. Yeah. On how you spell it. Yeah, you know, but that's that's why I made the song though, because it's the instant we are the same. Yeah, one hundred percent. Regardless how you spell it, we the same. Let's go. Um, do you want to leave any any messages to your fans before we head out of here? I love y'all. Let's go. Hey, barely see the beach dot com. If you want to get some merch, if you want it dropped off, tap in with me. Uh, Spring Valley Brian on Instagram. Yeah, man, hit me up. Barely see the beach on Instagram too. I gotta get more active on on that page. I, I'll be slipping. I know. Mm. But um. Yeah, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in the position that I am to give back to the city mm. if it wasn't for y'all. So I appreciate, I appreciate all that. Yeah. yeah. Once again, y'all, we got Ryan Anthony in the building, man. We'll play this song one more time before we head out of here, man. That's my guy, man. Representing the city, San Diego, Mr. San Diego himself. Let's get it, baby. Hey, hey. Hey man, appreciate you, baby. Big Hendo, Hendo plug. We out of here. See you later. I said D A. Do I put the Y straight to G O?